What's going on guys, Alec here from Oz Fury Gaming. Here to talk about some of the information we've picked up this week from RSI, so let's get stuck into it. First things first, anniversary sales coming on November 24th, running to December the 4th. If you're not sure what the anniversary sale is, basically it's where they sell ships that they don't normally sell, so your capital ships and other bigger ships. Generally, I haven't seen any discounts though, so it's not that sort of sale. Next thing was from Spectrum. We had Ask the Dev section that I was poking through, and I had a good question here about how AMPs are going to work. Now, AMPs will actually do distortion damage. That's how they're going to work out you know, what does what to components. Now, you can shut components down, so it'll take zero distortion damage. Um, for example, they can knock out shields. Shields have a resistance to that distortion damage, and so do other components. Um, depending on how you manage your systems, how effectively you'll be able to counter AMPs. Next thing, uh, ship component deterioration. Now, this was a you know, long question, simple answer. Um, 3.0 was going to be the initial start of that, and they're going to do a lot of balancing for that side of things. Um, and as they go on and on, they want to be able to actually bring in you know, heat, uh, just the amount of use, where they're being used, that sort of thing, not just you know, damaged, you know, it's being shot or it's being thrown around, that sort of thing. So that was a nice one to see. Another one was insurance claim abuse. I've always been super curious how they're going to work this. And as we can see here, they discuss it that basically every time you get an insurance claim, like in real life, you have to pay a premium. You also have to wait a certain amount of time, but the premium is actually going to end up being worth more than selling the ship for scrap or just dismantling it for parts and things like that. Um, if you're not aware too, insurance on a ship only cover the hull, not the extra guns and stuff you have on it. They only come back with the basic stock items. So after looking at that, we move on to the production schedule. As we can see here, 33 bugs for the shopping side of that. Now, numbers are one thing because you know we get to see where they're at, but also, you know, Take into account that you know there could be like 12 bugs that are related to one issue that causes a lot of problems, so they might need to fix it. But then also too, this number could go up when they do fix one bug and they find something else wrong with the code. This is all about you know bug finding. Now here we have missions, 20 bugs still on the missions and 82 tasks still to get done. So I'm curious to know what they mean by task. I know I talked about it last time, having a look through the production schedule um, timelines, but it's kind of vague in the description, which is probably a good thing, means it's going to be a lot more in Alpha 3.0 than we have been told, which is always great. Next thing on the list here, guys, is ship slash vehicles. So, we have a feature request. Now, what do you think that's going to be? <laughs> I read through the descriptions there, and I didn't really understand what they were meaning by that. Bugs and tasks, well, that's obviously pretty simple, but I don't know what they want for feature requests. You know, are they asking for better animations or things like that? I don't know. Other sort of point that one out to you guys. Now, next slide is going to be showing us traversal. So this is pretty much you know, moving around. Two bugs on that, so there's not much left to be done. Um, I could imagine traversal would also include that Nox bug. If you're not aware, the Nox has uh, had a bit of issues. A bit of issues? A lot of issues. I don't know how we're going to say that one. Uh, in regards to the way it traverses across ground with its physics um, mesh. So if you saw the... Um, CitizenCon 3.0, you would have seen what happened where it just went super high in the air and came back down. Then the last slide here has Moby Glass and performance and stability. Uh, we've got you know a few bugs there in Moby Glass and yet again more tasks, but the performance and stability haven't got any bugs at all, so we've just got tasks ahead of them. Now speaking about that, there was confirmed 60 players on a single server running at a modest frame rate, so around 40 to 50 frames I'd imagine, so that was really nice to see. Now moving on to Around the Verse. Around the Verse had their burn down and everything, but what I wanted to point out was this quantum travel. Now, in the CitizenCon demo, we could see the new quantum travel, and I think it's quite pretty. I really enjoy it, and um, they talked too about how they had to sort of spool up quantum travel for you know your longer distances and how they changed the animation and the effects for that difference. As we can see here, as they come out of that long distance jump, you can see like the particles coming off the back of it. Now, they had the happy hour demo, and well, when I say demo, I mean they went through an outpost and actually showed system updates and how they build the outposts and things like that. And I really enjoyed watching it pretty quickly. I, I sort of just jumped from bit to bit as I talked. And as we'll see here, they actually walk into this room, and that's actually a power module. So when you walk into an outpost and there's no power on it, you can actually go to your ship and rip out the power core from there and put it into this. Now, how it gets rid of that power, how it distributes it when you put it back into your ship and that sort of thing is going to be interesting how they balance it but I'm kind of interested to know that um, what other systems will take effect you know for example um, how will oxygen um, well, 
cleaning go, you know, as they get f- like further and further on, you know, filters, for example, if you've got, say, a large ship like a Starfarer Gemini, and you go into an outpost and the filters have clogged or they're busted, can you pull a filter out of the Gemini and put it in here at all? You know, how is that going to work? Because obviously the sizings and everything like that are fairly simple now. They've, they've made it a lot simpler, a lot easier to grasp, which I think is good. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be curious you know, to see how they go. The air filter is just you know, one idea, but yeah, you, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming with it. So they had a bug here, funny enough, you know, the game's still in development, who would have known? And um, what they tried to do is they wouldn't actually uh, recognise the fact that um, there was a person there. So they've actually jumped out and they've gone back into game to try and get it to work. So here we go, it opens up now. They walk across, pick up the box, and in it goes. Now, I'm curious to know too, uh, for, you know, if we'll have to place these power modules or if when we build the outpost or find an outpost, if it'll be like, you know, automatically, you know, what I'm trying to say, is it going to be automatically sized? So for example, if you come across this outpost, is this just like a medium power slot? Um, and can we upgrade the power slot so, if, you know, we can get more juice out of it with that battery time? So there's just a few other questions that I have to see what CLG come up with. Um, I don't think asking the questions now are really going to be a major thing you know, talking point as we need to wait for Alpha 3.0 to come out and we really get a good grasp on that. So that's pretty much everything done, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. There wasn't a gigantic amount of information and, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. I'll be coming out with uh, Starfarer M50 Interceptor video for Subscribership of the Month real soon. So I hope you guys get to enjoy that. And um, I've just a great time, guys. Thanks for joining in and I'll catch you later in the burst. Toodaloo.